Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Dish with Tasha. It's your girl. You can call me Taj, T, Shay Shay, whatever you're more comfortable with. So today I am so excited because I've always wanted to do a mukbang for obvious reasons. Like, um, I love food. I mean, yeah. Today I am having some Italiano. You know, I mean, who doesn't love Italian food? If you don't like Italian food, you're crazy. All right? <laughs> and we are having some penne alla vodka with some garlic bread. Also, some chicken parmigiano. I love chicken parmigiano. I'm so excited for this cheese. And hold up, wait a minute, because I don't think y'all ready for dessert. I got some cannoli and tiramisu. Do you see this? It's going down basement. All right, and I also will start with my orange San Pellegrino soda. I love, so good. Here we go. Mm. Okay. I don't know what to try first, like. Okay, I'll try this first. <laughs> you know that first bite? Like, that first bite is always like heaven, especially when you're hungry, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Mom, so good. I'm gonna put in the description box where I got this from. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second. Let me just. So I wanted to share some facts about myself, just so we can get to know each other a bit, since we're about to be best friends. I am a native New Yorker. I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx. You know, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. I'm trying to get some rocks. She. I'm an actor based in New York City. People are always like, who's your favorite actor? So I guess I should tell you who my favorite actors are. I do like J-Lo. Might be kind of biased because she's from the Bronx, but she's a really good actor. I love Charlize Theron. I love Will Smith. I don't know how I'm gonna talk. <laughs> this is so good. I also love Kerry Washington. And Kerry Washington is of Jamaican descent and from the Bronx. And I'm of Jamaican descent and from the Bronx. So I'm basically Kerry Washington. Um, yeah, Holly Berry, of course. Um, I don't know, I have so many. I can't even think of my favorite actors right now. I am passionate about making people laugh because I think I'm kind of funny. I'm also passionate about empowering the youth. I feel like representation is important, like it really matters. And if I could inspire or help children, especially children of color who come from similar adversities like I, that I do, um, you know, growing up in the hood and stuff, like just the struggle in general, I know how dark it can get. So if I can inspire like one child, I feel like I've done my job as a human being. Oh, I have a fun fact. I went prom queen in high school, but I didn't run. My friends were all like, oh, you should run, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I'm not running, that's not me. I'm not the prom queen type. And they went ahead and put my name in the voting box anyway. I actually won, but I feel like I only won because in high school, I was a class clown, okay? Like I was a theater kid. I thought everywhere was a stage. Me and my high school bestie was in the back of every classroom, just being hella immature, <laughs> make, trying to make people laugh. Today, I wanted to talk about a few things. Self-care being one of them. I feel like self-care and self-love, they go hand in hand. But I know there are a lot of people out here looking for love who don't even like know who they are, you know? So it's like, how are you trying to find someone before you find yourself? And I was that person for a very long time. So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, how I'm trying to school you. Like, um, this is advice to myself too. <laughs> so I feel like if your cup is empty, you can't really pour into anyone else's cup. You know what I'm saying? Like if your cup is broken, damaged, like you definitely have to make sure you're whole before you try and pour into someone else. So love up on yourself, fill up your cup, make yourself happy. And I don't know why I'm talking in this yoga teacher voice, but namaste. <laughs> and for me, I know like when I'm like feeling down and not loving myself, I go to the gym because you know those natural endorphins definitely help. I get a massage as often as I can. Don't underestimate 
the power of a massage because they can change your whole day. Get a professional massage if you're feeling down. I promise you, you'll feel better. And also, so being that I'm from New York, I have a lot of experience um, dating in the city. And dating in New York is like the Hunger Games, okay? It's the wild, wild west of fitness, bitch. Like, seriously, the most interesting, interesting experiences that you could only have here, you would have in the dating world. People are like, Actually, I'm gonna have some of this. This is, I call it money. Mm. I love putting out of olive vodka. They're so good. People here are either emotionally vacant, narcissistic, caught up on their ex, carrying like a suitcase full of baggage, okay? There are beautiful people here, okay? I will tell you that. People here are really beautiful, but there's like 1% of them that's actually dateable. So if you're a young girl with a notion that coming to New York City to find love is like the greatest idea ever, it's not, okay? <laughs> Try Connecticut. <laughs> Seriously, I've been here my whole life. I've been dating in the city. I know what I'm talking about. Not since we're on dating. The other day I was thinking like, do I have any pickup lines? Like, what do I say to someone when I find them attractive and I'm trying to bag or whatever? And I don't really have any pickup lines. I'm an Aries, okay? I'm very direct, I'm very blunt. If I see something I like, I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm not gonna come up to you and be like, oh, what nice weather we're having today. Or I like your shoes. I'm gonna be like, well, first, this is what I'll do. I'll peep it from across the room or whatever. And then I'll give you that look, you know? You know that look. And then if you give me the look back, at that point, we'll start having eye sex for like 30 seconds. And then, you know, I'll walk over and I'll be like, hi, I'm Tasha. I think you're really attractive. You should put your number in my phone. And it works. It hasn't failed me yet, okay? <laughs> there are times when you're on the train and you see someone that's like really cute and they're sitting across across the train car from you and you guys are both looking at each other but you're scared to get up and say something because the train car is full of people. As soon as you get up and have the courage to say something, the whole train car is gonna be like, which is embarrassing. So <laughs> you sit there and you try and build the courage and you miss your opportunity and your chain stop comes and you just get off and you're thinking about that person, that fine ass person for the rest of the day. Or you actually get up and say something and just deal with people like, I've never gotten up and <laughs> said anything, but there are people who are brave and they come up to me and they're like, hi. And I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Put your number on my phone as a pickup line. I plan on using on Ruby Rose one day when I meet her. Like, Ruby. <laughs> All right, dogs. Shh, shh, shh. Well, my neighbor's dog is so annoying. Those, these dogs have conversations all day. What are you talking about? What are you barking at? Why are you so mad? I know why you mad, because you live in New York City. <laughs> That's why you mad. It's too much going on. <laughs> I watched this Will Smith seminar a while ago about fear that still stays with me. He basically was talking about fear and how it's an illusion and how God placed your purpose on the other side of fear because the, the point is to face your fears and trust that you'll land on your feet because even if you try it and fail, it helps you grow, you learn something and you unlock another version of yourself. So if you're scared, do it anyway because the only outcome is growth no matter what. Growth lessons and you might you know there's a high chance if you trust yourself you will come out even stronger my motto is if you're scared do it anyway whatever scares you what you're supposed to be doing because it's going to help you unlock another version of yourself and get you closer to whatever you're supposed to be doing the moment we have all been waiting for all right, I'm gonna try the cannoli first. Mm. 
Me and this condoli, we chillin'. So good, it got me in my feelings. Finna take a trip to Italy. They got more cannolis, that's the place to be. Hey! <laughs> Why am I like this? Sorry, y'all, I can't even talk right now because. Why does this feel kind of sexual? <laughs> I hope you were at the very least entertained, enlightened, or empowered. I hope I made you giggle at least once. Remember that sometimes self-care is listening to Megan Thee Stallion looking in the mirror and telling yourself, I'm that bitch, been that bitch, still that bitch. It's been real. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Hey boo, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.